Sometimes being a resident of Philadelphia is really scary. Every time you get in your car, there's a possibility you could get carjacked. Philadelphia police now called a string of rifle point carjackings. In each case, two to three men approach a vehicle on foot. One takes aim at the driver, then they all take off in the car. I can't even park your car anymore in your neighborhood and feel safe that your car is going to be safe. Police say. Police in Philadelphia arrested dozens of people last night after a violent looting spree, a growing problem around the country. What you see here is not the streets of a poor global south city but rather one of the largest cities in America. Philadelphia is the birthplace of America, known as the City of Brotherly Love, has a rich history and is home to iconic landmarks like Independence, Hall and the Liberty Bell, a once thriving urban hub of America, now a city plagued with crime and poverty. Before we get further into the video, comment below your thoughts about the state of America's city. According to the Philadelphia Police Department's crime statistics, the city experienced a record number of homicides in 2021, with over 560 reported cases, marking the highest number in at least six decades. This represented a significant increase compared to top previous years, and was part of a broader national trend of rising violent crime in the past few years. As of the last update in April 2023, Philadelphia had one of the highest poverty rates among major cities in the United States. The specific poverty rate can vary slightly depending on the source, but according to data from the U.S. Census Bureau's American Community Survey, the poverty rate in Philadelphia was approximately 23 to 25 percent in recent years. This means that nearly one in four residents live below the federal poverty line, a stark indicator of the socioeconomic challenges faced by a significant portion of the city's population. If you drive around the streets, you can certainly see it. In recent years, Philadelphia's point-in-time count, which is an annual count of sheltered and unsheltered homeless individuals on a single night, has reported several thousand homeless individuals. Generally, the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Philadelphia ranges from approximately $1,300 to $1,700 a month. It is certainly far less than neighboring New York City, which last year averaged at $5,000 a month for a one bedroom. It is a common theme across America. Many American cities played with homelessness, crime, and poverty. When you look at the Global Livability Index, you don't see one US city in there. The top 10 predominantly other Western cities in Australia, Europe, or Canada. Honolulu was the highest placed US city coming in at number 25. Clearly, you can see the sad state of American cities with Philadelphia. Abandoned vehicles was the top 311 request in Philadelphia in 2023 with almost 40,000 requests. This was followed by illegal dumping and graffiti removal. We're seeing a similar trend in Philadelphia to what we've seen in other major American cities. More and more businesses are closing their doors due to the increase in shoplifting. According to data, Retail theft has rose more than 50% since 2022. The number of overall reported retail thefts in 2023 is up 29% from the same time last year. In September last year, the police arrested a group of 72 people who were charged with breaking into multiple retail stores throughout an evening. Here's a video of just some of them breaking into an Apple store in the middle of the night. It wasn't just Apple either. The group targeted 18 fine wine and good spirit stores in Philadelphia. Clearly, Philadelphia is experiencing an increase in large group smash and grabs. This is a worrying trend that we're seeing all across America. It was reported that losses reported by businesses due to retail theft was 112 billion in 2022. This was up from 94 billion in 2021. Every time you get in your car, there's a possibility you could get carjacked. I'm going to give you some advice and tips that I use to help me not get carjacked. The last 45 years I lived in Philadelphia. Lesson one, drive a pile of shit. You're not gonna get carjacked if you drive a pile of shit. All jokes aside, carjackings are a real issue in Philadelphia. 
In 2023, Philadelphia saw more than 21,600 car thefts. This was the highest number in almost 20 years. Major disparities exist in economic opportunity, housing, education, and public safety, which create a reality where life is fraught with hardship for many of its residents. The city's unemployment rate historically trends shyer than the national average, with job opportunities often concentrated in sectors that require specific skills or higher education, making it difficult for a portion of the population to find stable employment. One of the most pressing issues affecting living standards in Philadelphia is the high poverty rate, which is among the highest for large cities in the United States. Economic disparities are stark, with wealth concentrated in certain neighborhoods while others grapple with systemic poverty. This video was not intended to tackle every issue impacting the overall state of Philadelphia, but rather to show how the city, once the birthplace of America, is now following a trend seen in a majority of major cities across America. If Philadelphia looks like this today, then what will it look like in another 20 years from now? Comment below what you think Philadelphia's future looks like.